A new artificial intelligence tool is taking the tech world by storm. It's called ChatGPT, and it can pretty much do anything. Type a request, and it can write a school essay like this Twitter user asked it to. ChatGPT can also compose a song or even solve a math problem within just a few seconds. But some warn that the app could pose ethical issues, especially when it comes to cheating in academia or even writing fake news articles like this Twitter user shows. But how can you tell whether AI I wrote the text that you're reading. Well, we asked the question to Mohammed Abdul Majid, a researcher in artificial intelligence. The point of weakness of these models, of chat GPT in particular, is that it's trained on outdated data. So this was data before 2021 and 2022, for example. Now let's just think of the World Cup, for example. And the model will not be able to, if you tell it, you know, France, uh, uh, you know, did not win the World Cup, uh, you know, so the, the model actually wouldn't know whether France did win or didn't win the World Cup. Other clues that you can look out for, well, if several people ask chat GPT the same question, it will generate nearly the same answer each time. So let's say you're a school teacher and you're correcting multiple assignments that have a very similar construction or the same examples or reasoning. It might be a text that has been generated by artificial intelligence. This 22-year-old university student has developed an app called GPT-0, which he claims can detect whether a text is written by chat. At GPT. But it isn't foolproof. Why? Well, there is simply no detection model that exists today that is perfect, as explains Irene Suleiman, an AI policy expert. There is no magical solution to AI detection, but just like humans, as these language models become more powerful, these detection models are playing catch up and they're not going to be as good and give as, give as accurate an output on what is actually fake or AI generated. So what happens now? Well, experts believe that with artificial intelligence that's becoming more and more powerful, it may be time to rethink, for example, the way that we test students at university and what sorts of policies governments should adopt to make sure that this powerful tool isn't used to cause real life harm.